this is what getting pimp feels like. That's weird, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, it let me know that I I I don't ever want to be I don't ever want to be in those shoes to mm. to do that. And so um, I will say that, you know, for you, it, it's you. I, I saw you know I saw your eyes on the tour. You know, I I, I felt with that, you know what what you were feeling when you were going through it. And so me seeing that documentary, that wasn't one that I'm like, oh wow, what is this? It was more of like, it he got it, like he he understood it, he saw it, you know. And so, um, but Oprah, Oprah's network, um, like it, those people didn't, they didn't come here. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so so I think we're all learning something, and I hope everybody can can get this. Um, you know, when you're talking about this story, there are people who really own this story. It's no different from if you tell the story of Henrietta Lacks and how they stole her sales and made billions of dollars. That that story belongs to the family. And it, while we might be eager to go tell the story, like, well, let, let's make the assumption that LeBron and Oprah were trying to do the right thing, right? From their perspective, they didn't realize what they were doing. Um, we, we, I get that part, but 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 you can't tell the story of Henrietta Lacks without making sure that the family benefits from the story that belongs to them. And I think that what Cody is saying, I'm not gonna, I'm not speaking for him. I'm just sharing this perspective. He can correct me anywhere I'm wrong. You know, the, there's a community that really owns this story. There's a community that had this experience, and they've been frozen out. They're frozen out. They're 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 they've been. Um, uh, subjugated uh, in in a really horrible way by the local government. They they've they've really pressed you know to keep this story out of the out of the news. Also, the resources have been uh, restricted. So I would say that the best way we can really sell not even I don't want to say celebrate the best way we can honor what happened uh, in Greenwood is to learn the story, share the story, but then share the resources. Right. So so that means. Uh, it, you know, everybody who's you, first of all, we're going to plan the trip. We're going to we're going to go to Greenwood and do what we can. And I encourage everybody to understand that that support is bigger than just me just saying your name. Support is bigger than me. It's like with Dr. Claude Anderson. When I first started to work with him, um, I said, yeah, it's one thing for me to say powernomics is great. A lot of people do that. You know, uh, Kanye West said that Diddy said that even a lot of people said that. But at some point, somebody's got to write a check for what they believe in. Somebody's got to financially support uh, whatever they believe in. And so because we support all these other things that we don't believe in, these other people who don't have our best interests at heart. So targeting your resources is really important. So I would encourage everybody to think about ways you can financially support uh, ideas that are consistent with your own. Um, I think that this community deserves to have billions of dollars sort of pushing that direction. I, I I wish Oprah and LeBron had thought about that and just said, okay, if I just pay a little visit, that's going to bring a few hundred thousand dollars, a couple million into the local economy. Uh, that's going to support some black businesses. I mentioned Cody's business, the Black Wall Street Liquid Lounge. Uh, and I said, if you go there, every, go there and overspend, like just really, you know, enjoy because it's good service, good product. Why not? You go to Walmart every week, you go to Target every week. Why not go to the Black Wall Street Liquid Lounge? So long story short, everybody, I hope you understand that support, truly supporting something <clears throat> is is hard work. It means doing the heavy lifting that goes beyond just giving words of encouragement. Uh, I, I think that we really want to sort of take this and understand what really happened here.